We need to find the voltage V and we'll do that using superposition method. As I look over the circuit, I observe three distinct sources. So we need to find three distinct circuits, solve for the voltage V in each of those three cases, and then superimpose those or add them up. I'll begin with the four milli four milliamp source as the active source. So we need to set all other sources to zero. Circuit wise we can simplify to the following. Voltage source gets replaced by a short circuit and the current source gets replaced by an open circuit. This will be the voltage due to the 4 milliamp source so I'll call that V sub 4 and I think the easiest way to look at this one is to note that we've got 4 milliamps coming in which then divides amongst these two paths so current divider is probably the natural way to go. Once we've known once we have that current in hand then we can multiply it by 2k to get the voltage. So 2k will be our multiplier out front and current divider expression looks like the conductance of the path of interest so that's over here and that would be 1 over the series resistance and then we divide by the total parallel conductance so we repeat that number I'll put a parenthesis there to clarify that one plus 1 over 6k multiply that by 4 milliamps and then we also need to note that this current is entering the negative terminal of or the negative yeah negative terminal of our defined voltage so we need to stick a negative sign in there since it's not following passive sign convention so the voltage due to the 4 milliamp source acting alone is minus 4 volts so we'll save that result away. I'm going to bring the original circuit back up next. I'll continue by setting the 12 volt source active. So we set that to zero. Set this to zero. That means we replace both of those by open circuits. So now we have the voltage due to the 12 volt source acting alone. Um, altogether we have three series connected resistors. We're trying to find the voltage across one of those. So voltage divider comes in handy here. Total series resistance is simply the sum of those three resistances. Multiply by 12 volts and if you look carefully you'll notice that the plus terminals are lined up properly so we don't need to introduce a negative sign and V sub 12 is 2 volts so we're two-thirds done. Bring up the original circuit again. Now I find the voltage due to the 6 milliamp source so goes to zero, goes to zero left with the current divider where the 6 milliamp current divides between those paths. Well, let me jot that down up here. We would then say the voltage due to the 6 milliamp source operating by itself is 2k times the current which we get again from current divider relationship so we'll do 1 over 2k divided by total conductance seen by that source four k and six k are in series multiply that 
by 6 milliamps. And the current over here is pointing into the plus sign, so no additional sign is necessary. And V6, when you punch that out, is 10 volts. So again, I'll pull up the original circuit. So we add the individual voltages, which we had called V4, V12, and V6. V4 was minus 4. V12 was 2. And V6 was 10, leaving us with the overall voltage 2.5. 